Hey, que paso chicos? Me llamo Random Frank P. And today we're back with episode 245 of Room Tour Project. The series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now. 245. First up, we have Fallen Foe with all the RGB here. The damn gun is glowing up on the wall. Got the Nanolivora light panels. There is a lot going on here, including a very unorthodox triple monitor setup orientation. So taking a closer look, his center primary monitor is an Asus 27 inch. The top monitor on the overhead is a BenQ 27 inch. And then mounted on the right side, he has an LG Ultra Gear 27 inch 144 hertz panel and the primary one his asus that one's 175 hertz so getting the most out of that as for his peripherals and main gear on the desktop there's a lot going on here his keyboard is a tofu 60 with frosted acrylic he has lubed alpaca v2 switches inside with dsa astralo keys keycaps on them for his mice because there's multiples he has a logitech g pro razor viper ultimate but he's maining the model o wireless but you can also see in the back the elgato stream deck and the sterling audio harmony h224 audio interface checking out his custom pc inside the intel i9 9900k cpu with an asus lc240 aio you got 32 gigs of t-force delta rgb ram on an asus z390 prime motherboard with an rtx 2060 super founders edition graphics card all inside the corsair p4000 x case which looks super nice here keeping the rgb all consistent as well with the pinks purples and blues which is going to spread across the entire room and the entire setup you can see Right next to the setup pretty much is his entertainment center here. He has an LG 43 inch 4k TV More RGB some dope shelves collectibles some keyboards on display. I love when I see stuff like this So good stuff all around here from fallen foe the massive span L-shaped desk tons of free space Lots of room to move around flail your arms and stuff killer gear killer hardware really liking what you did here now we've got Brendan, and this one's giving me some, you know, chill vibes, nice and calming, relaxing. Maybe it's the wallpaper and the nice warm lighting behind it. And uh, do take note here, because what he did was place those two lamps behind each monitor, and, you know, gives it that warm sort of glow to mix it with the sunset wallpaper a little bit. I don't know. Might have been unintentional, but it looks really good. So for his display, it is a Xiaomi Mi 34-inch, 144Hz monitor. Then the vertical monitor off to the right side is a 24-inch from Dell. Down to his peripheral on our desk mat, we have the KBD67 light keyboard. Inside, he has Zelios V2 67 gram switches with some Enjoy PBT WOB keycaps, Logitech G Pro wireless, and for audio in the back, he has the G733 wireless headset as well as the Audio Engine A2 speakers. And then right on schedule, we move our way over to the PC. And this case is oddly named the MSI Vampiric 100R case. MSI, this is not a vampire. Inside is a Ryzen 5 3500X CPU with 16 gigs of Team Force Vulcan Z RAM on a Gigabyte B550M gaming motherboard and an MSI RTX 3060 GPU. Assuming everything was bought for MSRP, that's like your ideal best bang for buck PC right there. I do wish the PC though was over on the right side of the desk instead of off to the left. You can see it's not on the desk here, it's on like a drawer unit. Either way, I'm not gonna complain. Still really digging the vibes you're giving us here, Brendan. Now we've got Taz.com and he is all the way from year 2056. Check out that view with that natural ambient lighting, all those windows. This is like straight out of a really nice futuristic modern magazine. This entire setup is pretty much that society if meme. All right, but we're gonna try to dive in here and see what he's got going on because this is all powered by the Mac Pro 2012 from Apple. Uh, inside's a 3.2 quad-core Intel with 32 gigs of RAM and an eight gigabyte Radeon RX 580 GPU hooked up to the Apple Cinema Display 23 inch. I really don't know much about Apple's you know, desktop hardware, so I'm just reading off whatever specs he provided here. Um, and also for some peripherals, got the Apple Magic trackpad, the Magic Keyboard, the Magic Mouse, got an iPad, and the Rode NT-USB microphone. 
I would possibly though move the uh, camera and the gimbal somewhere else. In addition to that workspace, he also uses his 2015 MacBook Pro. Uh, inside an i7, it's the 15 inch. Got the Bang & Olufsen H9 Gen 3 wireless headphones. And check out the entertainment space over here. A 55 inch Samsung 8000 series TV. Got the Apple TV there, black and white home pods, tons of other things that I have no idea what they are. The PS4, even though the PS5 visually would fit right in here. And I really dig the uh, the Stormtroopers here. These are the Star Wars First Order Troopers by ArtFX. And uh, it just looks really cool. Fits in perfectly. So this setup, this entire space, really just speaks for itself. I can't get over that view. All that ambient lighting. The cleanness of the all-white everything pretty much here. This is nuts. Now we've got $1.42 with another nice warm and cozy theme setup. All nice wooden desk, beautifully mounted triple monitor set up here. Some more warm lighting with that lamp over in the corner and RGB behind the monitors and the desk. So let's take a deeper dive here. All three of those displays are an LG 24 inch. Again, beautifully mounted here. You can't see any cables drooping down. Good stuff. You did the proper thing by spanning the wallpapers across all three. So it's a uniform image and not just duplicating the same monitor. And bro, I'm not gonna lie. I usually, you know, keep this to myself, but I just casually farted over here and I'm struggling to stay alive. All right, I think I'll make it. For the, per for the peripherals, the Logitech G915 TKL keyboard with the Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless mouse on a nice extended desk mat here. For audio, he has the Blue Yeti mic with the Sony WH-1000XM4 headphones. And then powering this entire setup is his Dell P7530 laptop inside the Intel i7 8850 CPU with the NVIDIA Quattro P1000 integrated GPU and a peek underneath the desk. Really good job of cable management. Also, no cables drooping down here either. Everything nice and organized. Definitely the theme here for his desk setup. And check out the spot behind the setup. A nice spot to chill, relax on the couch. But he has a 65 inch Sony 4K TV plus two additional Insignia 32 inch TVs mounted above that. So he can Netflix and chill, Netflix and PS5 and PS4 and all the stuff here with three TVs, six displays total in this setup. Hot damn $1.42. You spent at least $1.43 here. You might have to update the name because there is a lot of gear and hardware going on making the really nice setup. Props, props all around. And then lastly, we have Hassan with a really nice looking gaming room here. Got the desk set up, the massive TV right behind it. Hell, the Dragon Ball Z prints are glowing. Let's check this out. So for his display, it is a 32 inch monitor from Asus. And yes, I will admit this spot here is definitely pretty cramped and there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, but at least the room itself looks really cool. And then for the peripherals, unfortunately, he only gave one photo of each close up like this. So I had to edit it so we could only get a sliver of each picture. Uh, but for his keyboard, it's the Corsair K70 RGB Mark II Rapid Fire, the SteelSeries Rival 600 mouse, and the JBL Quantum On headset. Submission instructions are down below. They're very, very simple. Also on his desktop for audio, he has the Razer Nomo Chroma speakers. Now over to the PC inside the Thermaltake View 51 case is an Intel i5 10600K CPU with an NZXT Kraken Z73 AIO. Got 16 gigs of Thermaltake Tough RAM on a ROG Strix Z490 A gaming motherboard and an Aorus RTX 3080 Master GPU. RGB fans, RGB cables, all of the RGB in the world. And I wish we had more information on the entertainment space because he didn't provide any info on the TV at all. Hassan, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. But he can get some PC gaming done at the desk, roll a chair around, play some Spider-Man on that glorious, massive, massive TV. And the Death Stranding fetus in the top left of the picture is not allowed to watch. This episode sponsored by Corsair and the brand new K70 RGB TKL Champion Series Mechanical Keyboard. With a nice compact form factor, detachable USB-C cable, cherry speed switches, and all aluminum frame, you got your standard bottom row with PBT keycaps, and the 8000 Hz hyper polling rate with their Axon chip inside. Not only will you feel lightning fast in the battlefield, but you'll literally be eight times faster than a standard mechanical keyboard. If you want to check it out, I have a link for you listed in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 245 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, 
Check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.